Hi, and welcome to the Beer Temple. I am your host, Chris Quinn, coming to you from the Beer Temple Tap Room here in Chicago. Thanks for joining me once again. And I am excited about what we have to try today. It is a brewery that I've only had one taste of once and was very impressed by. It's Wild Creatures out of the Czech Republic. Really interesting brewery here. This is a all spontaneous fermentation brewery from the land of lagers, the Czech Republic. And for those of you who may be somewhat familiar with beer and beer styles, you may know that you know the Czech Pilsner is the original Pilsner and is certainly the dominant and most popular beer style in the Czech Republic and is known for you know a very clean lager-like beer with the exception of maybe a little bit of diacetyl that is in there sometimes that we don't need to get into that. My point being they're known for lagers. I think the Czech Republic is certainly one of the most um, highly, I don't know, they drink the most beer of anyone you know, per capita. They drink a lot of beer. Beer is very cheap and it is pretty much all lager. They drink some dark lager but it's mainly light pilsner lagers that are made, drank very fresh and are made to just be an accompaniment to what you're doing socially or what you're eating or anything. My point being, certainly not spontaneous fermentation. And that's where this beer, this brewery comes in. It is two folks, uh, a man and a woman who got their start in the wine industry and really fell in love with spontaneous fermentation. Apparently there is somewhat of a wine industry in the Czech Republic and is, there is a wine growing region and that is where these guys are, guys and gals, are, are brewing their beer in, in the wine country and it is all spontaneously fermented, meaning they're not pitching any yeast. It looks to me like they have never pitched yeast. It is just stuff that is the local microflora in the area uh, and as a result, you know, it took them, I think they said five years before they were really ready to present a product. That's pretty intense. Again, I don't know if they've literally never sold anything, but they said that it took them five years before they were ready to, to really present beer. And that's difficult in, in any beer drinking country or non-beer drinking country. That's difficult in the U.S. where there is definitely a, a hardcore beer geek culture let alone in the Czech Republic, where nobody is aware of you know, an aged beer, of a beer costing this much, and they're really presenting it to people like wine. You know, it takes time. You are paying for this time and this effort and this craftsmanship. And it's just really kind of cool to see this type of beer popping up around the world. So. Very cool, very, very much inspired by Belgian Lambic. I think almost entirely inspired by Belgian Lambic with a little bit of kind of wine and terroir thrown in there. So this is the uh, Meditation Grand Reserve. And I have a towel here, but it doesn't seem to be needed. Uh, let's give this one a a pour. As you can see, very, very foamy, beautiful foamy head to it. Really great clarity as well. A little darker than a lot of Lambics that you see. Certainly a lot of the ones that are being made here in the U.S. are Lambic style or Method Traditional. I don't want to get into that right now. This one definitely has a little bit of uh, toasted malt to it. Man, this smells like mulch. It smells like you just opened up a bag of mulch from the, you know, that you picked up at the garden store. That really rich soil flavor and wood. On top of that, I'm getting a slight vegetal thing. Um, I mean, I don't know that it would be DMS. My guess would be that it isn't, but almost like, you know, kind of stewed veggies, peas, something like that. 
but primarily a, a intense earthiness, woody. Mm. So the flavor is tart. I wouldn't say it's super sour. I say there's definitely an assertive tartness to it. It's quite fruity as well. I'm getting kind of like plums and cherries and stuff like that. And a little bit of uh, malt character as well, kind of like a toasted bread thing, like rustic bread, bread crust. There is definitely some barnyard character as well. It's not overwhelming. Generally, I'd say that this is um, fairly well balanced between the acidity, the fruitiness, and that earthiness, that intense earthiness I was getting in the aroma. Um, and even the malt, you know, the malt is definitely present and in there. And I would almost assume it's just, you know, by design they wanted all these elements in there. Certainly not a beer that is going to blow someone out of the water who is looking to get the funkiest lambic or the most sour lambic, but a really nice, well put together, spontaneous beer that is, is kind of fun um, and just a, a neat beer to be able to try. Um, so I'm glad that we are getting this in the States now. The next beer is Fly With Me, which is their creek. It is a spontaneously fermented beer with wild or I'm sorry, sour cherries added to it. And as you can see from the color, the cherries are definitely there. Um, beautiful clarity again, a really nice off-white like foam with just a hint of uh, kind of a pinkish hue to it. Cherry skins, a hint of a waxiness to it. getting maybe a hint of butyric acid in here as well, which isn't the best thing in the world. It's just there, just barely in there. Mm. Really nice fruit, really nice cherry character, a bit of like an almondy nuttiness and a, like definitely like lemony sour as well. It's definitely got a lot of um, lactic acid in there. It, it almost tastes like, um, you know, cherries and cherry pits kind of dipped in, in lemon juice. Um, definitely a little bit of like a plasticine quality to it. Just a hint um, of that kind of phenolic, um, a little bit of shower curtain. You know what this smells like? This smells like um, that cream you rub on baby's butts when they have a uh, diaper rash. Or is it a D or something like that? Um, desitin? Desitin, is that what it is? Yeah, it smells like desitin, for sure. That's what it is. It tastes, it, it, it's got like a desitin and diaper thing to it. Like a, a slightly medicinal I'm not really selling this beer very well, but I'm telling you, that's me kind of picking out the the, the nuanced aromas and flavors. The aroma is definitely like a sour cherry pie. The uh, I think the base beer is very likely the same, so I'm getting a little bit of that toasted malty character as well, that bread crust, and that kind of gives you some of that sour cherry pie thing. Um, it's got a good amount of funk and earth barnyard to it as well. And that like, yeah, medicinal, herbal, almost menthol quality as well is interesting. Yeah, interesting. I, this is a beer that I would like to drink the whole bottle of and kind of see what kind of pops up. There's a lot going on, I, probably with both of these that it takes more than just a couple minutes of drinking and kind of first thoughts. Um, this is a beer that I would imagine 20 minutes later I'll come up with other descriptors that I think are more accurate. In fact, 
now I'm, I'm curious if it's the uh, if it's the oak. Is it that's what giving it that that menthol um, character to it? Very interesting. Um, fun beers. This is from Wild Creature. Um, interesting. That creaminess too. I, I'm very intrigued by this beer in particular. Anyway, uh, if you see them on the shelves and you are into just oddity, wild, experimental beers, they are definitely worth picking up. I think they're you know in the ten to twelve dollar range, maybe thirteen bucks, something like that. I would say it is worth it to just try and see what's going on around the world in terms of spontaneous fermentation and what people are trying to experiment with, especially in the home of lager, and just kind of cool stuff to kind of see what's going on. Thanks so much as always, guys. If you have any comments, feel free to drop us a line on our email or just pop a review on the iTunes site or leave a comment on our website. So. Appreciate it again. I will see you next time. In the meantime, and I promise you this is true, this time I will be drinking some really interesting Czech spontaneous beer, and hopefully you are too. Cheers.